Saraya Salti, Injaz Al Arab. In the Middle East, 70% of the population is below the age of 25, and most of them do not and will not find jobs. School curricula may remain traditional, leaving graduates unprepared to compete effectively in a global market or to create the businesses that will generate new jobs on the scale required. In Jazz's innovative approach engages leaders from the private sector to introduce entrepreneurship, work, and life skills education into the school systems throughout the Middle East. In Jazz has reached more than 300 youth in the Arab world engaged more than 10,000 volunteers from the corporate world and expanded the programs from Jordan to 11 other Middle Eastern and North African countries. Ladies and gentlemen, Soroya Salti. my colleague and partner, <laughs> Akif Akrabawi, to stand up with me this evening. Thank you. <laughs> well, I want to start with a, a story. In 2001, I, there was a group of young girls coming into our office from all across Jordan. And one of them was completely veiled. The only two sparkling things that I could see were two black eyes in front of me and I was trying to understand what she was trying to say to me but the scarf kept bobbing up and down and I finally said could you just please draw for me what Injaz means to you and she drew this bright yellow sun and called it Injaz and, and drew a boy not even a girl with short sleeves and shorts and then she wrote on the side and she said I look to the outstanding to the freedom full with energy and power this is what I want, and this is the life I want to live. And she signed it, Sousan Petra School. It was such an incredible experience for me, just to see the, the, her soul and what she was crying for, to be liberated. The private sector volunteer, a female walking into her classroom in Petra, her only hope to equip her with the skills she needs to break out and to break through. What is most incredible about our abuse is how excited and thrilled they are to see a glimpse of hope, and they hold on to it with their life to take on that opportunity. All we've done is just open the door for private sector leaders like Fadi Randour, who is here this evening, <laughs> and his staff, to just tap into the energy and enthusiasm of the Arab world's youth, the excitement that they have. They want to explore and, and to see what strength they have and, and to live productive lives. This Skoll Award will help us reach one million Arab youth. We are coming to Libya. <laughs> You're going to help me. <laughs> Yemen, <laughs> Algeria, <laughs> and Syria. And also to empower as many youth as we can and mobilize as many business leaders across the Arab world. Thank you so much for this award. 